Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. You're looking at three 9mm sub guns. Over here we've got the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. Over here we've got the Grand Power Strybog SP9A1. And over here we've got the new Ruger PC Charger. This is not going to be a what's better kind of thing, more of a feature comparison, so let's get to it. Let's start with the Grand Power Strybog SP9A1. I got my buddy Ken here. Howdy. All right, so we've got the Strybog here. This has been around a couple years. It comes with a, well, what we have here is a 30 round magazine, proprietary with Grand Power, but what does it come with? It comes with a 20 and a 10. Okay, and then it does have an ambidextrous mag release right there. Mm -hmm. Same thing on both sides, lever. You push it in, right there it is serrated. And I'm telling you, this thing is the heaviest of the three. Yeah, it's top heavy. It's, it's, it's definitely it's, top heavy. I can feel it just holding up right, right here. But it does have M-lock slots on the fore end, eight inch barrel, uh, one half by 28 threads. And what optic are you running here? That is an ACO. Okay, aim point. aim point, yes. Yes, and then this is the only one, well actually the, the Evo does, but this actually comes with flip up sights right out of the package. Yes, they're, they're a little on the flimsy side, but they work and they are true right out of the box. Okay, well that, that's, that's kind of nice, you know. Uh, ambidextrous thumb safety, and then tell me about this brace. The brace is an SB brace I bought separately. Uh, it's, it was available on uh, from Grand Power. I actually got it right from them. And they, these have actually dropped in cost quite a bit since yes, its have. introduction. Okay, very nice nine millimeter sub gun. The one thing that this has is that, that is not a benefit is a reciprocating charging handle. Yes, it'll it'll bite your thumb. It'll. You got to have some thumb uh, discipline on that one. Right, and this was an initial launch, so now they make them without that, and that that applies with this and the Scorpion because they came out with so many different models. We are just featuring what we have to mm -hmm. show, but I'm going to put this one down because <laughs> it's yeah, pretty darn heavy. Yeah, I'm getting a workout here. How about this new kit on the block? This is your first time checking it out. What do you think? That's beautiful. It's a Ruger PC charger. It's it's a certainly a, a little bit, it seems a little bit smaller. It's a nice sub gun, much like the Strybog and the Scorpion. So it's it's a little more to the market. And these are right around the same price. At least the MSRP is is pretty uh pretty similar. What do you think about the availability to add Glock mags? Oh Glock mags are everywhere. They I mean you can't you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a Glock. <laughs> exactly. That's a good way. That's why I bring you on here. Just come up with stuff like that. All right, so it does have the left side magazine release, 33 rounds. You can add what you want there. It comes also with Ruger mags if you have those. It has the availability to be ambidextrous, but out of the box it's not. It's on the left side. It does have the hand stop right there, aluminum. The advantage here is that this is a takedown model one of the advantages and we didn't talk much about the strybog but disassembling that didn't you tell me off camera that that's probably the most difficult out of the three? Oh, that's absolutely the most difficult of the three to take apart okay so so the strybog disassemblies a little more detailed than the pc charger and the scorpion but what we have here is the already mentioned the glock mags and ruger mags cross bolt safety instead of a thump safety m lock slots here six and a half inch barrel and once again that is one half by 28 threads hand stop the takedown model and then the brace that i have here is an sb tactical fs 1913 it's got a 1913 uh, rail right here that makes that easy to put on and then just pulling up like that it'll fold over you haven't shot this yet, but what are your initial thoughts? I love the QD, uh, being able to put the QD mounts for the sling, that's wonderful. Right. It's great to have those right in it. And that's something I did not mention on video. I wish I did, I totally forgot about that, but uh, it does have QD slots right there to add a quick detach uh, sling mount, and uh, or a sling, I should say. So, and then the uh, Vortex, what I have here is a, a Vortex Spark, AR and then a seven inch pick rail right there and of course the takedown I don't need to well you know what why not you mind th throwing that bolt you. back a little bit just yeah give you the bolt back a little all right 
There you go. We'll mm -hmm. hold that back. Gotcha. That'll lock, and then this will just take down like that. Go. Couldn't couldn't be easier. No, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice feature. And uh, but both of the well, I, I should say all three of these guns shoot phenomenal. So that's why I said initially this is not going to be a what's better, just more of a, a feature kind of thing. And you know what? We'll let the viewers decide which is the best. Thank you. <laughs> I can see. I can see. What right, is. right. We'll move it down just a little bit right, right there. All right, so here we have the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. This was the first one to come out out of these three. And you were quick to get on to get this. Why, oh, yeah. why, why did you want this so bad? I was waiting for a Scorpion. I love the 32 Scorpion. I mean, the original, uh, you know, the original itineration, I guess you could say, of the Scorpion. And I wanted the newer version. I wanted a PCC in 9mm. So when one came out from a good company like CZ, I'm jumping on it. Yep, yep. And this one's a little bit more. This one's going to cost a little bit more than oh, the yeah. other two. Oh, yeah. You're looking in the 800s. And I know the MSRP is right around 840, 850 or something like that. All right, so getting back to the magazines, we see that this has, what's that, a 20 round mag? That's a 20 round indent, which came with it. Okay, and then you get up to 30 and even 35? Uh, 30, uh, Manticore makes a 32, and uh, Magpul just came out with their 35s not too long ago. Okay, so we're looking at aftermarket. This art has aftermarket support. This has uh, been around bit. every bit of six, seven, eight years. Yeah. Okay, and then you got an aftermarket on the other side. Safety. Yeah, I, I did put an aftermarket. It, oh, there we go. They all tend to stick into your thumb a little bit. Well, I shouldn't say they all, but the uh, the Strybog and uh, they stuck in your thumb right out of the uh, or. Well, I know that was a, that was a problem with this initial mm -hmm. launch is that when you just by shooting it, uh, you'd feel that thing digging into your thumb. Oh yeah. And so these uh, aftermarket companies recognize that. Okay, you have an AFG here. The, yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say something about that? Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I, I would rather have a hand stop now. I would prefer that, but the way I have it set up now, it's just so comfortable. Yeah. And it's kinda it is a hand stop. Yeah. You know, same yeah. serves the same purpose. Now in lieu of the M lock slots, these have or this has rails all around it. Mm -hmm. Which are polymer. Polymer rails, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you got the charging handle up here. Yes, which is kinda in the way at the moment. But Works pretty well even with that light. Yeah. Well, if you want a light, that's what you're going to have to deal with. Yep. Right? And then you've got your, your sling mounts over here. Whoop. Yeah, right there. Yep. You've got your sling mounts. It's kind of, you know, I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera to make sure the thing's centered. And so when I point and everything, it makes it a little difficult. But here we're looking at a 7.7 .7 inch barrel. All right. And tell me about this brace. That's B brace. It's a good brace. I, I I'm really happy with it. I personally prefer the Maxim, like a PDW type brace, but that's a great, comfortable brace, and the rubber keeps it nice and warm. No cold steel on your face. That's always nice. Yeah, that's actually quite a, a big deal. Now you, we also have a Vortex Spark AR on the Scorpion. I love the Vortex Spark. Me too. So you you chose this because this is just a phenomenal optic and yes that's exactly why I cho well I guess that's why we choose optics because we think you know it's not all, it doesn't always boil down to you know if I could save twenty bucks it's it's something that you want to work and that you could beat on right and everybody who's let me hold their firearms knows that I have a case of the dropsies <laughs> and sorry guys I know I've done that I've dropped that thing already twice and landed on the optic. It didn't even change, I and mean, there was no change of impact whatsoever. Great, it's a great optic. Yeah, it is. It is. And what about the sights? Did it come with these? It did come with the sights, which are nice. They they don't they don't snag. You know, they're they're great for that. Um, I, they're easy to easy to move if you'd like to. Uh, nice wide, uh, you know, uh, wide field of vision. You know, you can keep both eyes open. They're good sights out of the box, but they're not flip ups. Right. Okay. All right. Here we have the Strybog again. Tell me what you like about the, what What could you tell somebody about the Strybog if they asked you about it and said, well, tell me what you like about it. What is that thing? The overall feel of this gun is, it's it's a good gun. It does suffer from the ambidex, ambidextrous safety, does dig into your hand. I have not checked to see if there's an aftermarket. It's definitely not out there like a CZ's aftermarket support mm -hmm. is. Right. Um, 
it's nice. I, I like that they put the a little bit of grip texturing on the uh, magwell because you really don't want to put your True. thumb in front of that reciprocating charging handle. I know it's only a nine, but it'll still get your attention. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think it could break your thumb. Yeah. Or at least come close. Heavily textured grip there. Heavily textured. I would just polymer. say its its shooting ability is is pretty pretty amazing. It's point. Of, uh, it, it shoots where you want it to shoot. Right. That's for sure. It, it is accurate. Okay, and let's get back to the PC charger. What do you think about this? I know you haven't shot it. I can speak to that. I, I can actually speak to all three of these. They they all shoot phenomenal, so I there's no way I'm going to get over here and say one shoots better than the other, but these, yeah. this is as shootable, as accurate, and as comfortable as the other ones. Best it's grip just, out of the box, personally. That's a personal thing, but yeah. out, of the, out of the box, it's my favorite grip. Okay, you know, just standard A2 grip, mm -hmm. but that's what we're comfortable with yep. with many of our rifles. And I also like the takedown feature and that hand stop. And it's aluminum. Standard. It's nice. It's aluminum, correct. All right, we don't have to, we'll just point the camera this time. The Scorpion Evo 3. What's your uh, favorite uh, feature on that? Honestly, I love the aftermarket support. I, I love that. I can do whatever I want with that gun and make it more to my liking. The safety was easy to find. It was inexpensive. I mean, it's it's a great gun, and I love the fact that the mags are starting to be everywhere, and it has multiple company support for mags. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Yeah. I, I bought some of those uh, Magpul mags, I believe, for $17. That's a, that's a great price. That's a pretty good deal. Right. All right, so we're not going to say which one we think is the best, but I think we can both agree and i'm pretty sure everybody watching can agree that these are three fine pistol caliber sub guns i don't think you'll be upset with any of them <laughs> all right anything anything else to add no i i love these guns they're 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 great guns and honestly well worth the price for any of them you buy i think that was perfectly said thank you all right i practice <laughs> and you're good at it if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.